Hi, this is Jack Downs. I'm here to talk to you about the Zoom, which is our little recording device. We now actually have two kinds of Zooms. Let me show them to you. We've got the black one, which is the new Zoom. And we've got the silver one, which is the old style. They're both fully functional. When you go to reserve and then pick up your Zoom kits, um, uh, A and B will be the old Zooms, and C and D, and maybe E, will be the new Zooms. I'd say the new Zooms are maybe a little easier to use, but the kits uh, for the old Zooms, the silver Zooms, are at this point a little more complete. Um, but they should be functional either way. Okay, now I'm going to go through a list of the features and then show them to you briefly. Okay, this is the document that accompanies this tutorial. And as I told you, we have two kinds of zooms. Um, first of all, the question you have to determine is, is the recording set to WAVE, which is our big lossless file format, 14, 4.1 uh, kilohertz, 16-bit, in other words, CD quality. You can check these menus pretty easily with both of them, although the functions are a little different. I'll show you in a minute. You have to make sure the mic choice is correct. You never know how the mic choice was left, left last time. It also depends on what kind of project you're doing. For the PSA, it's one kind. And then for the Vox Pop, which is, in other words, a, an interview style, uh, with you talking and then interviewing somebody else, it's a different mic choice. The, whole, the big issue with the old zooms, the silver zooms, is that you press the record button once and it goes into standby mode. If you're not careful, you would think it's recording, but it's not. You have to press it again to actually record. With the black ones, it's different. When you turn it on, it's automatically in standby mode. Standby mode allows you to check your levels, the sound levels, before actually recording. And then with the black ones, you press the record button the first time and it records. In both cases, you press the record button the second time and it stops. I really encourage you to think about pre-roll and post-roll. Wait one, two, three seconds before you begin speaking, and then before you hit the stop, the record button for the second time, or the last time, before you do that, wait two or three seconds. Get pre-roll and post-roll. Blank sound, blank tape, for use of one of a better word, before and after. Um, and then the instructions are here for plugging in your, your Zoom uh, by the way, be, when you finish, make sure to turn the zoom off. That's a good way of leaving them on for any long period. That's a good way to ruin them. Also, um, turn the uh, when you're when you're done. There's instructions here for how you take the files off the zoom and make sure when you get them you know, onto your USB or your hard drive that you delete them from the zoom. Okay, let's take a look at the two zooms close up. This is the silver or old zoom. It's turned off right now. The on-off switch is on the side. Turning it on, you see it's got a small screen, a little hard to see. There it is, and this is the normal front screen of the Zoom, where it's supposed to look like when you're going to do recording. The first thing I ask you to check is, um, is it set to record properly? I'm going to push it forward a little bit. It's hard to see, but if I click on Menu, Use a pencil for that. Right on the top of the menu screen, the second one down is called Recording Mode, and you see it's 14.1 slash 16. If it wasn't, I could push the red record button. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to go back by clicking Menu. First, go down to uh, Record Mode, hit the arrows, hit the red record button. I can see all the choices in different uh, recording formats right there. But it is set correctly at 14.1 slash 16. So I'm going to click on Menu, which takes me back, and Menu again, back to the recording screen. What about the mic choice? Well, mic choice in the, in the old zooms is set right here. Right now it's set. You see a little red, red light on front 90. A little hard to see. Let me move that closer. Front 90 is lit up right now. But I can change the mic choice with these arrows. If I go over, it tells you it's going to surround two channel. That means front and back. It could be surround four channel. We don't really use four channel sound. Or it could go all the way over and go to rear 90. If I just wanted to, to record on the mics on the back side. So I would say for PSA, you want PSA, you want front 90. 
like that, like that, and then surround two channel for a regular interview setting. So I got my got my mic on right um, now. If I'm going to record, here's the problem. See, right now it says mic active. Great, but nothing much is happening. But if I press record, I have a blinking button. The clock is not running, but instead I can see right now the recording levels are showing up, showing up pretty good. If they weren't good enough, I would change the gain. Or if they were too high, I could change the gain. The gain is a, a switch on the other side of the zoom. I'll turn it right here. Um, right now the gain is on high, That's which is probably where you will have it. But you could turn it down if you want to. Check to make sure the gain is on high. Uh, these screens are set so the backlighting goes off from them to save battery after a short period of time. But we are not recording right now. This is just a standby mode. I want to record. Here I go. Now I'm recording. You can see the clock is moving and the recording is happening and I still see the levels. I'm going to stop recording. Press the button again. Now I've stopped recording. I can listen to my recording now using the play button. I have a volume on the side to adjust that. Um, however, of course, in all these functions, I'm, I should use headphones so that I can really tell what sound is getting to the recording. Okay, so that's the old silver zoom. Uh, basic functions. By the way, always turn it off when you're done. Here's the new black zoom. Very similar, maybe a little easier to use. First of all, how do we turn it on? Well, the black zoom has a hold on off button here. We press it on, and this is what the screen looks like to begin with. It's a much bigger, easier to read screen. You see something automatically right now. We are in a, a standby mode, so as you can see, the levels being listed. But are we in the correct mic mode? Well, the mics are set in a much more visual way right here on the top of the zoom. And there's a little dial to choose. I'm going to move it around. My mic is the one that's lit up. MS or XY. The choices I think you'll use the most often. Um, also, um, two channel surround. Two channel. Um, you can check your sheet about that. But I'm on the XY, which is on this front side for recording of the PSA. Um, I probably would use two channel for the um, box pop or interview situation. And I can tell by which one is lit up. It also tells me on the front. Okay, so if I got my mic set right, uh, I need to check my um, recording, um, whether I'm ready set to record in Wave 14.4 or not. I can see already, right down here, not backlit any longer, it says 14.4.116. If I wasn't sure, I can go to the menu. There's a menu button on the side. I could use the use the play, the toggle part of the play button to go down to record. I can push the play button in to activate it, and I can see record format is WAVE 14.4.1 16-bit, which is what I want. Of course, I could press this in to see all of them and make choices. I don't want to change it. I'm going to press menu to go back. There are many other choices you could make here, but we're not going to worry about those. Um, hopefully they're all set properly. Don't play with them. I'm going to go back again, menu, and press menu again to go back to the recording screen. And you see I'm, my levels are still showing up. My mic is still active. But there no, there's no red blinking light uh, to say I'm in standby mode. I am in standby mode pretty much all the time, except when I'm recording. And here I go to record, and now I'm actually recording, and you see the clock is running. So I'm recording now, and recording is off, and I can play if I want. Again, I would have headphones on throughout that process. And again, it's extremely important to turn it off when you're done. And then please follow the instructions for removing the files from the Zoom. You know, the Zoom is turned off. Then you plug in the USB, follow the instructions on your sheet. Um, make sure after you remove your files that you delete all the old files.